Hey there, Alan here, RVacrossamerica.net, and I'm out here at Soda Lake again, several miles above Pinedale, Wyoming. We're going to call this main post at RVacrossamerica.net forward slash Soda 22, S O D A 22. So I hope the wind is not too much of a problem, but um, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I'm recording this on September 11, which of course is a, a day of remembrance. Uh, the weather today here is actually uh, eerily reminiscent of the weather uh, that I experienced in northern New Jersey, New York City area uh, back on that fateful day of 9-11-01. A um, little different though. This morning it was 34 degrees here and yesterday morning it was 30 degrees here with our first frost of the season. Yes, that was on September 10. As I did my panorama, you could see um, Soda Lake just a short distance from where my camper is. It's uh, maybe about a one, one and a half minute walk, if that. Uh, my kayak is out. I was paddling a little earlier. I've got my aero garden out. Uh, it's not looking as healthy as it was a month ago, and I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong. So I'm probably going to be reaching out to aero garden and saying, what did I do? The nice thing is it's easy with the pods that you can just replace them back in. And I did do a write-up on AeroGarden oh, two, three, four write-ups ago or, or posts ago. So um, you could dig in for that if you go back to RVAcrossAmerica.net and look down the main roll. Uh, you'll see it there. And uh, I still like it. Um, it's still delivering lettuce for me. It just doesn't look right right now. And we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, <clears throat> The main purpose of this post is to bring you to a page that I created that has photos, uh, memories, if you will, the best of, if you will, from the last 10 years of travel. And I decided to start in chronological order. So they're from about 10 years ago. And uh, the images themselves have links to them. So you can see that I, I finally have finished this project and this is the video that's going to show that off. I also wanted to bring you up to speed on a couple of interesting things. Uh, my business, uh, my concierge RV buying and selling service business has ticked up recently and uh, big time recently. And uh, there's uh, currently three units that I'm offering up for sale and two people looking to buy. And I'm not mentioning this now to pitch you on any of the three units but I do want to mention that um, I've advised each of my clients to uh, price them aggressively, meaning that we're not going for uh, even anywhere near the uh, NADA or JD Power uh, book value. Uh, and even at that, I'm not seeing a lot of play. So the market has truly changed in the last few months. If you're thinking of being a buyer, you're going to be able to buy at a good discount. I just got a fella, uh, one of my clients, uh, a brand new travel trailer, naturally an outdoors RV, and we got it for him at about a 20% discount. That is phenomenal compared to what you could get six months ago. Six months ago, the dealers were not full retail, even for you, Alan, full retail. You're, gonna, you're not going to get a discount off of us on that. Uh, now they're dealing, and uh, I was able to get him quite a few thousand dollars off. Uh, the other client <clears throat> whom I'm looking for, uh, we're looking for a motorhome and, uh, no, a fifth wheel, my bad, <laughs> a fifth wheel. It's what happens when you think off the top of your head and you don't have notes. Uh, we're looking for a fifth wheel and what I've noticed in the fifth wheels that I have in mind for them is that the prices have come way down in the last three, four, five months. Um, in fact, uh, they had spiked way up during the, you know what? Uh, for the last two and a half years, but um, uh, now they're coming down, and I know I'm going to be able to negotiate a great deal for them. They're in the process of uh, getting a truck so that uh, they have a way to pick it up and actually travel with it in case I don't find one within, you know, 50 miles of where they live. Anyway, um, that's that. Uh, something else that I wanted to mention, I went in for uh, um, my annual cardiology exam. They gave me a stress test. That came out A-OK. -okay. In fact, I reached 100% heart rate. I was over 152. Uh, I recovered quickly from that. And I discovered that by going off the meds, which they want you to do for a short time, my blood pressure was darn near normal. So um, I'm in the process of making some changes in my lifestyle and some changes in my meds. And uh, 
Uh, from the sound of it, the nurse that uh, is representing the doctor, who I'd love to get in touch with, but for some reason can't seem to. Um, the nurse is, of course, opposed to that, but uh, I think it's a good idea. So anyway, uh, anybody with cardiology experience, I'd love to hear from you. And um, if you're a cardiologist, I'd love to have a consultation with you regarding my status and uh, my need or, or lack of need for meds. Anyway, Alan here, rvacrossamerica.net. Uh, this will be again at rvacrossamerica.net forward slash soda 22. And uh, you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're seeing this. Uh, I plan on going for a little bit of a hike. I just did about an hour in the kayak a little while ago uh, on the lake. Uh, the breeze is picking up a little bit. Again, I hope it's not obnoxious on the uh, microphone. And uh, uh, I'll then take off and do a little walking around and then get back and get back to business because I got a bunch of clients I got to take care of. Anyway, uh, you have a great day.